your earth based in this life. January 25, 2016 Dear Ones Earth is rearranging itself into the loving mass it was always meant to be. Micro affects macro and so it is that as you shift to love, so too does the earth. Just as you must clear debris to find that love within yourself, so too must earth shift and clear to open its central core of love. The earth has been covered in a thick wall of fear and anger for eons, collecting bits and pieces from humanity and all willing contributors. Knowing that the wall would come down eventually, and so it is, resulting in new weather patterns, upheavals, and overall chaos, mirroring that which is happening to humanity, twisting and turning as the earth breaks up that thick wall of fear and anger. For those of you observing or part of earth's upheaval, it feels as all of what you know is in chaos. Such is not true. Instead, the earth's twists and turns are clearing earth, so it can comfortably reside in 5D as is true for you. Many are concerned about global warming. Such is so because you are finally realizing you no longer wish to curtail slash control earth, you wish to live on earth in peace. So it is you are beginning to note that you are not bigger or better than earth merely an equal with a much different role to fulfill. In the past, humanity attempted to control natural earth patterns, from rain to earthquakes. When such did not work as planned or to the degree desired, humanity decided to work around the earth, to deny it, to ignore it. So it is humanity is realizing that earth is merely a macrocosm of humanity. And the earth is a microcosm of the ethers. And the ethers are a microcosm of all that there is. And on and on and on. All are interconnected. So to dislike a particular flower or part of the earth is to dislike earth. And to dislike earth is to dislike yourself, for the two of you are one, merely two elements of one. Humanity is finally acknowledging the joy and love of earth that has been denied earth for eons. Of course, many acknowledge earth's beauty. Many gloried in their earth life. But the majority did not. There was always a need to control and defy. You are finally acknowledging that you are one with earth and, therefore, the cosmos. First you need to love yourself. Then, you have enough inner power, if you will, to love another. And the earth is as much another as any animal or human. You are all interconnected, first in fear for eons, and now, the beginning shoots of love. So it is you will soon feel the need to glory in the beauty and safety of earth if you have not already reached that place. You will wish to do so before you begin your next big adventure in the ethers slash cosmos. For part of your earth security dream is knowing that earth is part of you, your home base as it were. Many of you think of the earth as more of a launching pad than a home base. That too will shift. For indeed, why would you wish to create an earth security dream if you felt disdain for the location of that dream? All is tied together in one glorious package. Not only are you creating your earth dream of the earth, even though you could create that dream anywhere in the cosmos, you are doing so because you are of the earth in this lifetime, you are not of the cosmos. Granted, in this next phase, you will visit various areas of the cosmos. You will experiment with your capabilities in this earth lifetime. You will push aside the veils that have limited you to 3D for eons of earth lives. But you will do so as an earth being. Not a being of Orion or Pleiades or any locale other than earth. Which is little different from what is true for those of you who follow the path of your earth ancestors. You discover their stories, their joys, angst and other emotions felt throughout their lifetime. Yet you are not your ancestors, you are you. So it is for this next piece of loving you and all that there is. You are earth-based. No matter where you zoom to in your new discovery phases, you will always be earth-based in this lifetime. And so it is that you are beginning to feel what earth feels, even though you do not always know that such is so. Allow yourself to flow with those feelings as you and Earth heal in this glorious phase in which you fully claim your birthright in this lifetime. So be it. Amen. Channeled by Brenda Hoffman. www.lifetapestrycreations.com